Hello everyone, it's me ASMR welcoming you to my new Photoshop tutorials and today I'll show you this type of preset. So today we'll discuss about this preset, how I made it and how the settings will be and how to manage this preset in your photography etc. So let's start the tutorial. If you are new in my channel, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon for the new notifications. So I'm going to the home and uh, I downloaded some stock image from unsplash.com and I'll provide you the download link in my video description for your practice purpose. So drag in and drop in a plus sign, you'll get another copy of this layer. After that, go to the filter, camera filter. So this camera filter is another plugins of the Photoshop. And if you don't have this camera filter, please check out my video description for your download link. And from here, you'll get the three small dots and going to the load settings options. And this one, I made this one, the restaurant, this preset. And let's see the settings of this preset. Here the temperature plus 6 and tint minus 15. That's why you are getting some little bit uh, greenish type. And here the exposure minus 0.65 and the uh, here the contrast plus 54 and highlight 0 and shadow plus 60 and here the blacks plus 35 and the clarity plus 3. That's why you're getting a little bit clear things or clear face over there the vibrance 0 and the saturation minus 15 that's why you are getting the desaturated moody things and most of the moody thing is depends on the curve that's why i'll show you the curve settings over there the lower side the input value 2 and output value 28 and input value 51 output value 52 and input value here 105 and output value 106 and input value 196 and output value 184 input value 253 and output value 254 241 actually over there here and the detail options getting the detail sharpening 50 percent and noise reduction 30 percent and color noise reduction 25 percent so you know that the two types of noise over there the noise reduction normal noise and the color noise that is 25 that's good the color mixture most important things and here is hue saturation luminance hue the orange hue minus 8, the yellow minus 49 and green minus 100, aqua minus 22 and the blue that is hue minus 53. Hue is which color will be saturation percentage of the color and intensity for the luminance. The saturation here the percentage of the orange plus 21, yellow 39 and green minus 19 and aqua plus minus 6 and here the blue that is plus 46 and purple minus 100 and magenta minus 100 this one is the intensity that's why i made the red intensity 100 percent orange plus 32 yellow plus 74 green plus 16 and aqua plus 18 and blue plus 41 purple plus 100 and magenta 100 that's fine going to the color grading another most important and new feature of the camera filter you're getting the shadow that means uh, shadow darker portion the mid tones little bit highlighted portion and the most highlighted portion is highlight so which color will be in the shadow which color will be in the mid tone and the like highlight these define in the color grading so here the color grading here it is a hue and the saturation uh, sometimes you didn't get this type of things that means the slider just press the triangle you will get the slider over here and this one the hue bar you know which color will be defined with the hue i'm saying again and the value is 234 and the percentage that is the saturation here 4 and here is a blending option and balance option you can do here and there the mid tones the mid tone value of the color that is 360 and the saturation 10 and here the hue of the shadow that is 73 and the saturation 6 that's fine the color gradient and optics options geometry i didn't use that effects i didn't use that and the calibration minus 10 for the hue plus 10 for the saturation plus 41 for the hue and green primary minus 14 and plus 14 for the blue primary and the saturation minus 6 that's good and hit the ok button so you're getting the uh, like uh, moody tone which is really nice effects the ordinary image and you are getting the creative type tone over here so let's try this one to totally different types of photo so it could be 
totally different type photo press ctrl or command j going to the filter camera filter so from here going to the load settings options and import the restaurant preset you're getting like that so in this photo you are getting too much red in a face so going to the color mixture and the saturation i'll make it down and from here i'll increase the orange luminance the intensity and the saturation as well and from here you can make the basics from the saturation up so you are getting the before and after huge change over here and hit the ok button so this color these lights that means the example photos lights and other colors is not same you to your photographs so you have that assumption to change the settings according to your photography this is the technique to use the preset uh, from the website that means uh, when you are collecting the preset you should be careful the light and the setup is same according to you so when you are just collecting my preset or downloading my preset don't forget to give the credit line and don't forget to change it out according to your photography otherwise you won't get the proper uh, like output like me so hope that you learn a lot from this video if you did please thumbs up and share with your friend and if you have any kind of question query request please do comment on my video comment section until the next video i am asmr signing out today stay safe stay at home keep me in your prayers bye bye